Hello YouTube and welcome back to Aquavita Woodworks. I'm Justin and today I'm going to be showing you how I made these alphabet blocks for my daughter Emerson. To start off I have this piece of poplar that I got from my local big box store. It's two and a half inches by two and a half inches and the first step in the process is to cut it into seven equal cubes for each letter of my daughter's name. You can see here I'm using a piece of scrap wood just to make sure that my stop lock is in the right position on my crosscut sled. Once I'm satisfied with its position, I can cut my pieces. I do need to make two passes on each piece because my saw blade does not retract high enough when my crosscut sled is on the table. So seven cuts and this is what we're left with. I ended up making eight blocks just in case I made a mistake later on in the process. Once that's done, I can move on to sanding up to 220 grit sandpaper. I first use my orbital sander to clean up the sides, and then I place a disc flat on the table to clean up the edges. Once my blocks are cleaned up, I make sure to use the compressor to blow off all the dust before I move on to painting. When it comes to painting, I'm using a simple acrylic paint, and I have four different colors. As you can see, I have blue, green, red, and yellow. And since there's seven letters I need to paint, each color will be painted onto two blocks with the exception of yellow. Only one block will be painted yellow, just because yellow usually turns up the worst on wood, in my experience. Once I'm done, I like to use a heat gun to speed up the drying process before moving on to a second coat of paint. You don't have to be very careful while painting. As you can see, I got some paint on the sides, but that can all be cleaned up with the orbital sander. And here's the final result. I think it looks pretty good. Let's move on to the CNC. So now that my blocks are painted and ready to be carved, I'm gonna use this jig that I made. Uh, all it does is it clamps down to my corner here where my zero is, and then it uses these inserts in the corner so I can open this up, place the block in, and tighten it down. That way for each block that I do, I don't have to change my zero, it's always gonna be in the exact same spot right there. So I'm gonna clamp this down, and I'm gonna set my zero on the corner of this, and we should be good to go. All of these carves are going to be using this eighth inch down cut bit. So it's pretty simple and I do have two of these bits but I need to use the short one. This is the longer one I have but that little half inch of a difference, my Z height won't retract high enough to make it so no matter how high my machine is, it'll always be hitting it. So I'm going to use my shorter one and carve out the letters. Hope this works. One thing that I did just notice before I start this carve is that when I clamp these down, the pressure on this is lifting up this side, which means that it's, this side will be lower than that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little shim piece of paper in there. That way when it clamps down, it'll be, it'll be flat. So hopefully that'll fix it. This is just going to be pockets, so the depth won't matter too much. You won't notice it as you would with the V-carve, but that little shim should help keep everything flatter than it would be without it. So we'll see. And before I start carving, here you can see me clamping down my piece and setting my zero. Normally I would use the touch probe to set all my access points, but my Z height does not retract high enough to fit the probe underneath the router. So I'm just eyeballing the X and Y and using the paper trick to set my Z height. Once that's set, it's time to carve. <laughs> Okay, well I think those came out pretty good. A uh, little cleaning up to do with a brass brush, but not too much. And as far as finishing goes, my daughter's not gonna be playing with these, so I'm just gonna use some lacquer since they'll be on display on a shelf. So a few coats of lacquer, and then that's it for this project. Hope you guys enjoyed, and leave any questions or comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, see you next time.